10. 2022 Porsche Panamera The Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid is a decent sedan with four doors and seating capacity for five adults. There's even ample cargo space in the trunk. The Panamera is a road rocket capable of accelerating to 60 miles per hour in just under three seconds before reaching a top speed of nearly 200 miles per hour in the latest Turbo SE Hybrid model. Nine, 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo. 2021 911 Turbo shows off forced induction power in the 70s. Every automaker was looking for ways to increase power without breaking newly introduced emissions limits. Porsche decided to use forced induction, resulting in the first turbocharged 911. Eight. 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo. The GT3 is the version to get if you're looking for a 911 that can deliver the same great all-around performance as a regular 911, but has a more track-focused setup if you need a track car. Unlike the standard 911, the new 911 GT3 comes with a large rear spoiler, larger air vents, two large exhaust connections, a larger diffuser, bucket seats, and a roll cage. Seven, 2016 Porsche 911 R. Porsche has always been a fan of building back to basics sports cars that sacrifice modern comfort for high speed and the 911R is a perfect example of that. Introduced in 2016, the 911R is essentially a 991. 911 GT3 RS with the same 500 4.0 liter flat six engine, but without the roll cage, rear wing, and other bodywork components to save weight. Six, 2018 Porsche 911 Turbo S. The 911 Turbo S has the same 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six engine as the 991.1. The 911 Turbo S, however's increased output of 572, meant it could reach a top speed of 205 miles per hour becoming the first Turbo S model capable of exceeding 200 miles per hour. Advanced technologies such as rear wheel steering and adaptive aerodynamics further enhance its performance. Five, 2004 Porsche Carrera GT. The Carrera GT is powered by a 5.7-liter V10 engine producing 612 pounds, 450 kilowatts, 604 L. While the original concept car had a 5.5-liter engine producing 558 pounds, 410 kilowatts, 550 L. Porsche claims this car can accelerate from zero to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers slash a in 3.9 seconds and has a maximum speed of 205 miles per hour, 330 kilometers slash a. The Carrera GT has large side intakes and an air dam that helps cool the big V10 engine and is framed by a carbon fiber rear hood. Four, 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S. Just like the previous generation, there's a lot to like about the 992 Porsche 911 Turbo S. This car is comfortable enough for everyday driving, 
but also has enough power to make the hair on the back of your necks stand up when you take it to the racetrack. The compact body packs a flat six engine that produces 640 and 590 pound-feet of torque. With that kind of power, it's not too surprising that it takes just 2.4 seconds to cross 60 miles per hour, with the quarter-mile marker covered in an astonishing 10.5 seconds. Three. 1987 Porsche 959 Sport. For many Porsche connoisseurs, the 959 is one of the most exciting sports cars ever. Developed in the 80s, the 959's main goal was to dominate the rally scene during the crazy Group B era. And although it never raced in Group B, it introduced a lot of technology that was far ahead of its time. Per homologation requirements, Porsche had to build 200 examples of the road legal 959, and because they were nearly identical to the race car, they were so fast, they broke the production record in 1987 with a top speed of 198 miles per hour. Two, 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. The 911 GT2 RS is powered by a 3.8-liter flat-six engine capable of producing 690 up and 533 pound-feet of torque. All that power goes to the rear wheels and can launch the car to 60 miles per hour faster than you can pronounce its name. With a top speed of 311 miles per hour, the GT2 RS is the fastest iteration of the 900 and 91 generation Porsche 911. One, 2014 Porsche 918 Spider. The 918 Spider is filled with all kinds of luxury gadgets that help propel it to the pinnacle of hypercar royalty. Then there's the matter of its incredible power plant a naturally aspirated 4.6-liter V8 powered by a cluster of electric motors that work together to produce a total of 887. The car will sprint past 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds and reach an impressive top speed of 214 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. 